Hi, I'm Chanel Buchan. I work as an applications engineer at SP Automation and Robotics. I assist the technical sales team and the engineers to come up with a concept for our different designs of machines and proposals. So we work with a whole range of different industries from the automotive, medical, pharmaceutical, food and drink and the construction industries as well. Automation plays a big role in transforming the productivity of these companies in um, being able to assemble products at a quicker rate to give them a bigger output and thus help them generate more profits. We also help with processes that might be more difficult or dangerous. Really, where automation comes in very handy is with um, batch production or mass production of units. So anything, I mean, automation's everywhere from, you know, your wall fixings, your curtain fixings, the likelihood if it's an assembled item, it's been automated in some way to be mass produced. Okay, so generally robotics and automation tie in very closely together. Robotics can cover a wide variety of tasks which might be dangerous, dull or dirty for human beings to carry out. Any sort of task with a repetitive nature um, or that involves heavy loading is better suited to, an op to automation and robotics. Automation can generally speed up processes that might be much slower if they were assembled by hand, for instance, and um, repetitive assemblies are well suited to automation. An example of automation could be like fitting together a, a pen. You take that, it's got um, several parts that need to be put together in a sequence. So that's very well suited for automation. So what I think people might find surprising about my job is the range of different industries that we get involved in. You would never think that, you know, engineering can be involved in such a breadth and width of uh, different industries. We get involved with projects that are in automotive, pharmaceutical, medical, uh, food and drink. The, the list's endless. So the jobs and the projects are never the same. Okay, so some of the key skills that you might need working in applications is to be able to think outside the box, be a bit creative, because initially when you look at a problem, the solution isn't always so obvious. Um, so having a wee bit of creative thinking really goes a long way. Also being able to communicate with different people is very important because you could be talking to a range of different people from different fields with different expertise and even some of our customers who might not always have a technical background to explain why a process or um, project should happen the way it's happened or why, why you're building a machine a certain way for their process to improve it. So if someone wants to enter the field of robotics or engineering, the best place to start would be in school. Um, when you're picking your subjects. A lot of people tend to pick the sciences, so physics, maths, technological studies, product design, graph com. All of these are great subjects to get you involved. Also, if you were to leave school before sixth year, you could also go down the route of taking a, a course at college. There's a whole range of different courses and modern apprenticeships available as well. No, I didn't always want to be an engineer. At school, I thought I was going to be a vet until I realised that I was squeamish. Um, from then on, I enjoyed science and one of my main inspirations was my physics teacher who got me involved in the more technical side of subjects at school. From then on, I decided that I wanted to be an engineer. So it all started from school. I picked uh, a good range of standard grades, so, uh, graphcom, physics, maths, English, then went on to 
do hire. So I picked product design, physics, uh, Graphcom. And from there, I went from university, graduated, and then I started working at another local company and moved on from there to SP Automation. Okay, so typically as an applications engineer, um, we work closely with our sales engineers who go out um, to our customers and determine what their manufacturing or assembly problems are. And they will um, bring, bring back all the information for us to determine what the main problem is and come up with a solution. After the customer decides if they like our solution, we can pass this on to the design team who will design the machine right down to the nuts and bolts and how it will be assembled. So my favorite part about my job is probably being able to combine um, a bit of creativity with um, technical side of things. So being able to combine my skills using uh, 3D CAD, you know, that you might have learned back in Graphcom for some of the younger viewers. And also, um, being able to communicate my ideas visually. So if we've came up with a, a really nice concept for a machine, it's nice to be able to actually show people how this would work 